Si Michael Jackson. Ay, ay, si Munoz. Yun lang o. Pag inang-retopin na yun. Hindi siya sa toke eh. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Four minutes na lang, guys. Four minutes. Um, ay, sorry. Hin- Bababa ko sana yung isa kong ilaw. Audio only lang pala. Audio only pala. Audio only pala. Kasi hey, this is part of the video songs. Kaya mo, kaya mo silaw. Okay. Four minutes na lang. Ayan. Ano rin oh. yung ano ni Daddy, pantanon? Hindi to, wala kaming video. Sige, sabi ni H&I Admin for security purposes. Audio only. Okay. Oh, pwede na to, pwede. This is a, all, okay na itong setup. Okay hey, lang. Church, ito naman, okay. This is multi multi-way. Connect, pwedeng wala Bluetooth. Oh. Sino galing Malaysia? Ay, ah, mamaya. May magsustart na to. Hindi pa. Ilangan kong... I always have to... Yung salamin ko ba? Laging just... Okay. We will start in a while. We will start in a while. Two minutes. One minute. One minute. It's already seven o'clock, guys. Uh, 
Let's start. Wow. Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the premiere of Magpayo Tayo by Inclusion. I'm your host for today, Carlos Minarchi. Together with me is Billicent Macuse. And I'm Billicent Macuse. Good evening to you. And this is our premiere. We are broadcasting live from, from our houses in Quezon City and Imus Cavite. City of Imus Imus Cavite. We are simultaneously broadcasting on Inco Radio Facebook page and the Inclusion Channel YouTube page. Before we begin the show tonight, we will start with a prayer. For our prayer, here now is the Oratio Imperata and the prayer for the protection of Trans Inclusion Philippines. Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. God our Father, we come to you in our need, but I need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We cry to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not disguise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, Archangel. The, pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue and repentant success of the organization Hands Inclusion Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which may affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by Anne's inclusion Philippines to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong things in your eyes the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungson. Pray for us. Saint Claire of Montefalco. 
pray for us. Saint John the Baptist. Pray for us. Pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us in our family. Pray for and us in our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us in our family pray and for friends. Us. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Pius the Tenth, and Pope Saint John Paul the Second. Rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. Unintended wrongdoings. God, the Holy Spirit, of mercy and change the heart of everyone, all organizations and all the people who formerly worked with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in a conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and has inclusion. All this ask in your name, in Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Okay, our verse for today from Psalms 62, verse 1 from the New Testament. Truly, my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from Him. What does this mean based on this? Based on this. Uh, verse. Um, can you repeat the verse? Truly, my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from Him. Um, it means na God re lets us rest from a hard day at work and He will save us from it's a psalm of David. God is God gives us strength and will lay, and will let us rest. It's how I understood that. Even though I I don't often read that verse, I I understood that in that context. Yes, for me, based on this verse, this in means that. that um, this whole or ang ating kaluluwa ay galing sa pahinga ng ating Diyos. Ang kanilang, ang sakirisyo ay mula sa kanya. Ibig sabihin, tayo bilang, bilang tao, tao sa kasalukuyan, kailangan natin may pahinga. ba? Yes. Siyempre. So guys, we will be back for, for we will have the the topic proper. We will be back after these two commercials. I hope you will enjoy this. Lily, what do you think about this? system is working too fast. Take the 
ammonium right away. It quickly works with your body to restore its natural rhythm, relieving you from elbow to Ammonium restores your digestive rhythm. Okay. I just got some <laughs> What do you think about it, really? <laughs> Grabe, huh? <laughs> he who must not be named would not like that. <laughs> Yun ang aking palagay. <laughs> so anyway, we will now start. Without further ado, let us start our topic proper. Our first topic is epilepsy. So what comes to our mind when we say when we come up with the word epilepsy? Um. Okay. Yung biglang nangingisay when when it's least expected. It means the patient cannot control his or her movements pag ganyan. Tapos yung ano, I can't think of any other manifestations of epilepsy. Registration? Uh, epilepsy. If you want, ito na. We have some information about epilepsy. So, when we say... Registration, 10,000? When we say epilepsy, this is a neurological disorder in which brain activity becomes abnormal. It leads to cause seizures or periods of initial behavior, sensations, and sometimes loss of awareness. Any person or anyone can develop epilepsy, but this will affect both males and females regardless of our race, ethnic backgrounds, and ages. Seizure symptoms can vary widely. Some people with epilepsy simply stare blankly for a few seconds during a seizure, while others repeatedly twitch their arms or legs. Having a single seizure doesn't mean you have epilepsy. At least two unprovoked seizures are generally required for an epilepsy diagnosis. Treatment with medications or sometimes surgery can control seizures for the majority of people with epilepsy. Some people require lifelong treatment to control seizures, but for others, the seizures eventually go away. Some children with epilepsy may outgrow the condition with age. Billy, based on this, what does this mean? Epilepsy is essential to the system. Wala na pinipiling edad, ethnic background, and race ang epilepsy. Because uh, different people, different patients with epilepsy, nag-iiba iba ang symptoms nila. Some people can stare blankly f- for a few seconds during a seizure. The What I commonly see, as I saw on some shows, yung nanginginig yung arms and legs nila, it's a manifestation of an epileptic seizure. There should kailangan minsan kasi for patients with epilepsy, lifelong na ang treatment nila. Although others, mawawala na lang kusa yung seizures. Though minsan, may mga children na epileptic na as they grow older, hindi na sila nagkaka-seizure. So, yung diagnosis ng epilepsy, it varies on different patients. It's to that. Okay. So what are the symptoms of epilepsy? Seizure, seizure signs and symptoms may include the following. Temporary confusion. A staring spell. Nakatitig ka lang sa kawalan. Uncontrollable jerking movements of the arms and legs. Or loss of consciousness or awareness. Yes, yung mga ganyan. This nag, na, 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 yung mga nag-collapse or what. Psychic symptoms such as fear, anxiety, or deja vu. Deja vu yung what happened before 
could happen again. It's the symptoms of epilepsy. They vary depending on the type of seizure. Pero, in most, symptoms, in most cases, a person with epilepsy will tend to have the same type of seizures over time as the symptoms will be similar from episode to episode. Diba? Yes. Pero, what are these focal seizures of epilepsy? Can you read this? When seizure from when seizures up to disorder. When seizures appear to result from abnormal activity in just an area of your brain, they're called focal or partial seizures. These seizures fall into the two categories such as focal seizures without loss of consciousness. They were once called simple partial seizures, but they do not cause a loss of consciousness. They may alter emotions or change the way things look, smell, feel, taste, or sound. They may also result in voluntary jerking of a body part, such as an arm or a leg, and spontaneous sensory symptoms such as tingling, dizziness or pagkahilo, and flashing lights. And complex partial seizures or focal seizures with impaired awareness involve a change of subconsciousness or awareness. Sa gaito seizure, nawawala ng malay yung pasyente. During a complex partial seizure, the patient may stare into space and not respond normally to his or her environment or perform repetitive movements such as hand-rubbing, chewing, swallowing, or walking in circles. Symptoms of focus may, con may be confused other neuro neurological disorders, neurological, such as migraine, narcolepsy, or mental illness. A thorough examination and testing are needed to distinguish epilepsy for, from other disorders. Mm. So, ex so, yun pala, yun pwedeng makonfuse sa other neurological disorders, yung focal seizures. I did not notice. Okay, how about this? The generalized seizures. <sighs> Generalized seizures refer to seizures that appear to involve all areas of the brain. The, the following are the six types of generalized seizures such as absence seizures or petit mal seizure, seizures often occur in children and are characterized by staring into space or subtle body movements such as eye blinking or lip smacking. These seizures may occur in clusters. Ito yung nakakakos nung sandali ang kawalan a brief loss of awareness. Tonic seizures cause stiffening of your muscles. Ito yung nakaka-affect sa back muscles, arm and leg muscles, and the patient can fall to the ground because of it. A tonic seizures or drop seizures a loss of muscle control which can cause the patient to suddenly collapse or down. Clonic seizures are associated with repeated or rhythmic jerking muscle movements. These usually affect the neck, face, and arms. Myoclonic seizures usually appear as sudden brief jerks or twitches of your arms and legs. Tonic clonic seizures or once known as grand mal seizures, are the most dramatic type of epileptic seizure and can cause an abrupt loss of consciousness, body stiffening and shaking, or sometimes loss of bladder control or the patient could bite his or her tongue. So, ibig to sabihin, itong mga seizures ito ay naapekto sa, sa brain. Yes. Po. And what... Cannot when to see a doctor. We need to seek medical help if the seizure lasts more than five minutes. Breathing or consciousness doesn't return after the seizure stops. A second seizure follows immediately. A person having high fever, heat exhaustion, 
pregnant, diabetes, and injured yourself during the seizure. If you experience it for the first time, seek medical advice. Ang mga doctor dapat PRC license pag dito sa Pilipinas. Di ba? Yes. Mm-hmm. Bakit? Bakit po May hirap na pag uh, walang PRC license ang doctor, it could... Uh, pwede itong makalala sa situation ng pasyente. Lalo na kung wala siyang experience in treating epileptic patient. Patients with epilepsy. Hmm. Ito. What are the causes of epilepsy? Try to read this. And explain this to Epilepsy to has no identifiable cause in about half the people with the condition. Uh, ay, walang clear na cause sa mga halo, sa mga aba, around kalahati na may mga get, kalahati ng patients with epilepsy. So, sa other half naman, the condition may be traced to various factors including genetic influence, some types of epilepsy which are categorized by the type of seizure you experience or the part of the brain that is affected. Lahi it, nasa lahi ito ng mga families. In these cases, it's likely that there's a genetic, there's a genetic influence. Researchers have linked some types of epilepsy to specify genes, but for most people, genes are only part of the cause of epilepsy. Certain genes may make a person more sensitive sa mga environmental condition na mga trigger ng mga seizures. Ang um, another cause is head trauma dahil sa car accident or any other traumatic injury that can cause epilepsy. Brain conditions that cause damage to the brain such as brain tumors or strokes can cause epilepsy. Stroke is a leading cause of epilepsy in adults older than age 35. Pwede ring makakos ng epilepsy ang infectious diseases kagaya ng meningitis, AIDS, and viral encephalitis. Prenatal injury. Before birth, babies are sensitive to brain damage that could be caused by several factors such as an infection to the mother poor nutrition or oxygen deficiencies. The brain damage can result in epilepsy or cerebral palsy. It can also be caused by developmental disorders. Epilepsy can sometimes be associated with developmental disorders such as autism and neurofibromatosis. What is this cerebral palsy? Is that considered a person part of the people... Uh, uh, uh? disabilities yung cerebral palsy what is this cerebral palsy um, you're a little uh, <laughs> can you please repeat the question ano po yung cerebral palsy error at birth yun di it's ba? a motor dis- error. Ano siya? it's a motor disability yes Hindi okay. siya, uh, yung mga patients na may ganyan, uh, please don't cut me out yet. I have okay. an, may isa, uh, sorry, I've always cut off. I'll just write it down. Here. So here's the meaning of cerebral palsy. This is that affects the balance and the posture of I've a piece of a person. Mahina o problema ang muscles. Um, yeah, I was about to explain, but I'm always cut off or interrupted. Meron na kong ina-anak na may ganyan eh. Buo isip niya, but she could not balance herself ng matagal-tagal. Hindi ko alam kung paano siya, how she receives treatment. Kasi may, yung isa niyang, ano, nag-stiff, nag, nanigas. Nanigas yun. Nanigas yung arms. Yes. Paano, paano ba siya dapat mag-ano? Huwag sila laging puro TikTok at social media. Kailangan rin yan ng treatment. Puo naman ang isip nila eh. Hmm. Yung pag-balance lang talaga yung problem. Because people with cerebral palsy can, can, you know, 
Okay. So mainly you autism, that's also a big this is that's why in our peer group H and I we promote people with autism, right? Yes. Because kahit sarado pa rin ang H&I, tuloy natin ang serbisyo. Oo naman. Let us now move on anyway. What are the other factors? Age. If the person is mostly children or adults, the condition of epilepsy will occur at any age. For the family history, you may be may, mas mataas na risk para magkaroon ng seizure disorder kagaya ng epilepsy. Yung head injuries, yung pwede ka, paano, kung inawasan ito, magsuot ng seatbelt habang nasa kotse, pagsuot ng helmet habang nagbibisikleta, pag-skiing, magsuot, mag, riding mag, a motor, or iba pa or, mga activities. Uh, Iba pang mga aktibidad na may mataas na risk para sa head injury. Stroke. Yan yung brain damage. Dapat bawal, dapat inimitihan sa pag-inom ng alcohol. Iwa, iwasan mo ni Garilio. Mag-healthy diet at mag-ehercisyo ng araw-araw. Ang demensya ay ang pagtaas ng risk ng epilepsy sa mga matatanda. Brain infection, meningitis ay mag-cause ng inflammation sa inyong mga, sa mga brain spinal cord para mataas ang risk. Ang seizures in childhood ay ang high fevers in childhood ay dapat ay bahagi ng epilepsy. Mga bata na may seizures dahil sa mataas na lagnat na hindi magkaroon ng epilepsy. Ito ay dahil sa family history of epilepsy. May mga iba pa mga komplikasyon kung bakit ang nangyari na epilepsy. Paghuhulog, paglulunod, car accident, oh, no. car accident, pregnancy complications, emotional health issues, status epilepticus, and sudden unexpected death in epilepsy. Oh no, it 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 does happen. Sudden unexpected as an epilepsy. So, paano natin may iwasan ng epilepsy? Get, uh, what? Hey. How to prevent uh, epilepsy? Get plenty of sleep each night. Ayan, nabasa ko na yung una. Get plenty of sleep each night. Set a regular sleep schedule and stick to it. If, for example, if you sleep at 10 o'clock, panindigan mo ng 10 o'clock ka natutulog. <laughs> Learn stress management and relaxation techniques. Avoid drugs and alcohol. Take all your medications as prescribed by your doctor. Avoid bright flashing lights and other visual stimuli. Stay alive. Skip TV and computer time whenever possible. Avoid playing video games and eat a healthy diet. Okay. Let us now how epilepsy. Let us move on to the second talk. May nanonood sa atin today. Sandali Good lang ha. May, na, may nakapanood sa amin today. Si... Sandali lang. May nakanood. Siguro si H&I admin yan. O iba. Let us move on to the COVID-19 pandemic. So this year, 2020, we're on a difficult time this year because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Why is that? Billy. Um, ang 2020 yung, dahil yan sa COVID-19. Many people are are becoming unemployed. Maraming negosyo nagsasara. Identity quarantine has, you know, let's put it this way. Yung mga, yung mga, ano, they have to resort to selling food or essentials online dahil hindi nga sila, mag, dahil some would could not, 
go out to work. Yes. Yun yun na uh, observe ko. I have my own, I have some friends and relatives na ganyan. <laughs> they turn to Yusana, they turn to Fern, Sante Barley. Shopping. Hindi ko alam ang pipiliin ko dyan eh. Hindi ko alam ang pipiliin ko sa mga ganyan. Ang daming nang aalok sa akin na mag ganyan din, but I don't know what to choose really. <laughs> okay. So the COVID-19, this is an infectious disease caused by the SARS-CoV. It was discovered in Wuhan, China on late December 2019. So, it was start how is this started? It was started in Wuhan, which is the capital Wuhan. of Hubei province in China. And an investigation was launched at the start of January 2020. On January 30, the WHO declared the COVID-19 or the NCOV as a public health emergency of international concern. And then two months later, the COVID-19 became an international pandemic on March 11, 2020. On January 30, 2020, the Philippines confirmed the first case of the NCOV, which is what now called today as the COVID-19. But on March, what happened? There's a first confirmed localized transmission. It involves a person who is in the mosque in Green Hill, San Juan. Right, Lily? Yes. And then later, on March, just, just uh, on the second week of March, the, the, the uh, Philippine government issued a state of public health emergency due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And then... Mass media is also affected, right, Billy? Yes, naman. Mass media. Okay, that before, because of that, last March, around March 10, um, ABS-CBN and GMA Network announced to stop admitting live studio audiences, live studio for, audiences. for the entertainment shows. For ABS-CBN, it's showtime. I can see your voice. Asap natin to. Magandang buhay. Banana Sunday. At sa kanyang sa GMA Network, Eat Bulaga. Wawa Win. All Out Sunday. All Out Sundays. Which is formerly called a Sunday Pinasaya. What else? Yung mga shows. And then, also, on March 13, after that stopping of admission of live studio audiences, on March 13 and 14, ABS-CBN and GMA Network ordered to temporarily stop doing the tapings of their teleseries and to stage entertainment shows effective Sunday, March 15, in compliance with the Philippine government's declaration of a community quarantine and to prohibit mass gatherings to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Why is that, Benny? Bakit tinigil ang ABS-CBN at GMA Network ang mga tapings ng mga teleserye at ang pagtatanghal ng mga live entertainment shows simula March 15? Dahil sa palagay ko rin. Para ito maka, this is for the safety of everyone. Para hindi na, para hindi mag-spread yung, hindi mag-transmit further yung COVID-19. It was decided upon na yung mga, yung pag-represent ng live entertainment shows would not be advised for the meantime. Hmm. May rap na pag may live na and there's a, uh, COVID-19 transmission that's about to happen and bigla-biglang magkakahawahan. So, better be safe than sorry. Be safe than sorry. So, the reason why it was done is to ensure the health and the safety 
of the people of ABS-CBN and JMA Network, the artists, the production crew and team, their families, them, and the viewing public as well. So what happened to their programs aside from news? Aside from bringing news? So what happened to the sh shows of ABS-CBN and JMA Network since March 15? Um, if some did, if some did not allow yet the uh, entry of audiences, yung their scripted entertainment narrative shows, their soaps, ay yung iba nagtigil muna ng taping. Some have resumed production, but on a but with but with several limitations and considerations. Kaya ng uh, minors would not be allowed yet sa production. Female, female artists would do their own makeup and styling, ganyan. And also the reruns, right? Or papalitan yes, nila ang mga lumang teleserye, ang mga existing shows ng ABS-CBN at Jimmy Network. Habang patuloy naman ang kanilang pagbabalik. Yes, naman. That's true. Yung mga, yung mga reruns for ABS-CBN hanggang May, di ba? Dahil sa pagsara noong May 5, di ba? Yung Jimmy Network tuloy pa rin yung reruns ng mga primetime shows. Oo. Yung sa ABS-CBN hanggang May 4 siguro nag-reruns ng na mga, na mga primetime shows. Kagaya ng 100 Days to Heaven, May Bukas Pa, On the Wings of Love. Ano pa? Wildflower, too big at lang is the legal wife got to believe. Yes, yan yung mga inere na mga reruns ng ABS-CBN from March 16 until May 4, di ba? Because on May 5, ano nang yari? Yes. At 752 ng gabi. The shutdown of ABS-CBN on free TV and radio. Yes. It should not have happened. It it should not have. Hindi dapat yan nangyari in the first place. That's why mass media is part of essential services, you know, especially during the COVID-19. So, the COVID-19 brought everyday lives in the world to a halt. Why is that? Bakit tinigil na ang mundo ang mga dating gawain bago ang pandemya? Or as the COVID-19 brought everyday lives in the world to a standstill? Physical and social distancing are encouraged. Hindi, we can't hug, we can't even hug each other. A lot of people can't go to, can report to work sa, locate, sa, ano, sa office site nila. Everybody is encouraged to work from home. Para, uso, uso na yung Zoom, Google Meets. Stream yard. Yes. Hard. Namayang pag yung stream yard amid this COVID-19 pandemic. Uso, uso I, started na ito. My, I started my stream yard as I think the time nung bumalik yung internet namin. Yes. June or July. So, the virus is spread via the nose and the mouth. Yung mga droplets, di ba? Maliit yun, Billy. Among, yes. Ano ang sintomas ng COVID-19 pandemic? Alam ko lang, nag-iiba yung panlasa because it's the only symptom I remember na nilahad nung aking batchmate in college. The rest, I can't, I can't even remember clearly. Paano ko yung ma-enumerate kung ang naalala ko lang na symptom is nawaw, nag-iiba o nawawala ang panlasa. Hmm. Also, the, the pandemic also caused a disruption to our social and economic life. It has led to the postponement or cancellations of sporting, religious, political, and cultural events, shortages caused by panic buying, and decreased emissions of pollutants and greenhouse gases. Schools, universities, and colleges have been closed throughout the world. And there are a lot of misinformation about the virus. Right, Billy? 
Why was yes. that? Uh, I can. Hindi ko gets yung point dyan eh. For some and reason, time even, time. even even the simplest matters are too difficult to explain for me. Hmm. Ano yung I panic buying? I, uh, panic you? buying for me is when people suddenly hoard to buy tissue or alcohol or any essentials as soon as they found out that there's a pandemic that they have to face and it's go- ongoing and it could bring a certain level of uncertainty of their future. And all schools, universities, and colleges have been closed. Like all uh-huh. schools have been shifted to online classes. No, I don't think F, hindi naman yung iba naghihirap pang maghanap ng signal para makapag online class. That's why, as the vaccine for the COVID 19 is discovered, we need to have the ways to prepare ourselves for the new normal. Yes. So, bapat mga kay Chennai, makinig kayo. Mga preventive measures para maiwasan sa COVID-19 ay madalas maghugas ng kamay, pagtakpan ng mak gamit ng tissue or elbow, physical at social na distansya, pagsuot ng face mask at face shield sa mga pupang publiko, at, at dapat pag naisang tao ay naging testing positibo o negatibo sa COVID-19, kailangan tayo mag-isolate. At dapat i-check mo ang mga verified sources about the COVID-19 pandemic. Kama ikaw, ano mga abiso mo sa, sa lahat ng mga napapanood about the COVID-19? Ano ang mga preventive measures? As we enter the new normal era until a vaccine for the COVID-19 is discovered. Kung maaari, don't go out of the house when it's not necessary. Always wash your hands after kayong bumili ng essential sa labas. That's what I always do. I always get errands to buy essentials dahil I can't even go to the grocery because of my condition. So, hanggang sa sari star lang ako bumibili ng gulay or anything. And I always wash my hands pagka uwi na pagka uwi. If you can also mag-voluntary ECQ na rin kayo. Always observe physical and social distancing and maniwala lang sa reliable, re- reliable sources when it comes to checking on COVID-19 updates. Bakit? Ito ay ginagawa para ma-iwasan tayo sa fake news, di ba? About the pandemic. Yes. Also, how about if we have... On March 15, what happened in NCR as part of the COVID-19 pandemic? That was the beginning of the community quarantine in NCR. And then later, the Luzon... What happened to religious services during the COVID-19? All of them are shifted online. That's why yes. we have masses for... What are the churches that have online masses for Sunday? Manila Cathedral, Quiapo... Quiapo... Hindi ko alam ang iba. We, we only listen to Father Oibos' mass lately. Eh. It's, How about it's, you it's, it's not my preference, but my parents' preference. Meron din sila. The Veritas 846 Mass, which is the radio stage. TV Maria does have Masses also, so that for those people who will stay at home, you can watch Masses there on that channel. Okay. Ano to ang mga, aside from um, to the suspension of tapings as part of the COVID-19, um, na-postpone yung 
Tokyo Olympics, di ba? Lumipat sa next year yun. Yes. Uh, ano pa? So, also, as we prepare for ourselves for the new norm, pa dapat maging mahinahon tayo. Paano gawin yun? Dapat sumunod tayo sa mga mga ano tawag niyo, mga patakaran ng ating gobyerno. Dapat magiging maingat tayo. Huwag maging kampante. Kailangan natin susundin. Kaya kung kailangan lumabas, kailangan mong lumabas pag nabili. Mga iba pa mga social gatherings, bawal muna. Di ba? Yes. Okay. As I, I have uh, mentioned earlier, do voluntary ECQ. Social distancing is encouraged. How can we meet each other? Online, siyempre. Oo. Yung Zoom at iba pa. At uh, pag, kapag hindi kami makikipagtulungan sa paglaban sa, laban sa COVID-19, ano ang mangyayari? Kapag hindi kami makikipagtulungan. If we don't cooperate with that cause, more and more people would get affected by COVID-19. There would be more deaths and may hit up din because when a person dies of COVID-19, kailang, it was, it's, it's best to have the remains cremated right away. Ganun na nabasa ko eh. Hmm. Yes, we yes indeed. We need to. We have to abide by the to follow the health protocols. Right, Willie? Yes. Okay. We only have a few more minutes to go before the end of the show. So let us uh summarize what we have learned. Epilepsy, this is a sickness that is affecting the nervous system and to stop prevent that we need ways like to adjust your sleeping time and the rest goes on how about you can you summarize about the covid-19 pandemic the covid-19 pandemic has affected businesses leading to the closure of small businesses and restaurants and online and online schooling has seen a quite a rather fast transition more and more schools have turned to online classes for the school year and for the entertainment sector live audiences were not being done yet since march this year as ncr entered uh and entered into community quarantine and also the two networks abs cbn and jma network Announce the suspend or announce the suspension of the tapings of their tele series and to stop admitting live studio audiences and to and to stage entertainment shows to ensure the health and the safety of their employees, the artists, the production crew, yes. the team, the the families and the public as well. While these measures are in place, how will they continue to up to what is that? to entertain the viewers of ABS-CBN and GMA Network, aside from bringing updates. They will have reruns of the old shows. Reruns of their previous shows, Paul. Yes. But for ABS-CBN, the reruns persisted until May 4, right? Because on yes. May 5 at 7.52, I don't like, I don't, I personally felt sad about that. Free TV and radio shutdown. Of the ABS-CBN. Yeah, yes. But last June 6, at, at the time when we were under the GCQ, what happened at 1.13 in the afternoon? Really? What date was that? June 6, 2020. 
at 1.13 in the afternoon. During the we time... Did, we didn't have an internet connection at the time, but I still remember the H&I shut down. Yes, it was shut down at the time when we were under the GCQ, right? Under NCR was under GCQ. Yes. It happened during the COVID-19 pandemic. Why, why was that? Is that because of the sanctioned members who attempt to destroy the reputation of the organization? Right, Mimi? Oh, naalala ko pa yan. That's why, guys. Okay, guys, you have 10 more minutes to go before we wrap up. Do you have any greetings, Mimi? More greetings? I'd say- shout out sa mga tumulong sa akin magpaangat ng views and watch hours on my YouTube. Hindi ko na kayo maisa-isa but thank you for the help and uh, advice. Pati na rin sa isa kong batchmate na a fellow fan of Queen LC Lloyd Cadena. Rest in peace Queen LC. Hindi ka rin malilimutan. Hello, hello, Lex sa Al Sayed. Sana okay ka lang din. Let's enjoy life with me, Ken. Pati na sa aking relatives and sa mga kasama natin sa HNI. Good evening po sa inyong lahat. Kumain na, kain na tayo ng dinner and always, always stay healthy. And para sa mga greetings ko, uh, magpabati ko sa pamilya ko. Hello po, yung nanay ko, yung kapatid ko, at yung pamilya ko rin. Mama, sa mga kapwa kong member ng H&I, hello, hi! Sa mga kapwa kong H&I members. At sa mga kapwa ko sa Benid, Manila, hello po, Billy! Magsa-start na ang klase sa Vineyard, Manila at Antipolo sa September 7. Anong gusto mong babatiin sa mga estudyante ng Vineyard, Manila at Antipolo? Benildians, good luck sa inyong klase. Always study hard and pray harder. Don't hesitate to ask questions kung may, na, kung may mga lessons na nahihirapan kayo. Wag kayong mata, wag kayong mahiyang mag-ask kung saan kayo nahihirapan. Kahit na despite this difficult time, never stop learning. We cannot stop learning. Always strive to do to achieve. Wag magpadala sa pressure. Okay. At kami po sa Hans Inclusion ay magbabati sa mga estudyante ng Benyad, Manila at Antipolo. Good luck with your studies. Do well. And 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 try harder. And pray. And pray. And pray. Okay. And also, and also, uh, and we only have some minutes to go before we end the show. Mm-hmm. And um, so, uh, and also, guys, like for it, um, we will make promote muna tayo sandali. Today, we have already started the premiere of Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion together with you, Billy. Yes. On September 14, you will have the Bagani. When What will happen on September 14 is that the Bagani video and our new song, Alaala or Tinig ng Inclusion. You better watch wow. out for me. Looking forward na sa September Hello, 14. So, Sa so, October na ang Dear HNI at um, yung at, episode uh, ko yung first subject. Yes. My story rather is the first, the premiere episode. Ano ba yan? Pati sa words na nag-mimix up talaga ako. 
gusto ko ng I really want to have some check up or whatever. Bakit ako nako-confuse sa mga sinasabi ko? Boy, do I forget anything? And also, I urge you guys to continue supporting HNI by liking us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also the um, we also have our our uh, HNI online shop, Inclu Sports, Inclu Radio, the Kawal Facebook page, Kawal na Inclusion Facebook page, Inclu Nian Facebook page and the Kaintushan Channel YouTube page. We thank you for your continuous support and thank you also if we have, it will be appreciated if we do it. If we can, thank you. Yes. And also guys, we need to continue to pray for the return of, for the anticipated return of Hans Inclusion Philippines. It's already been three months and 90 plus days since the, since the shutdown occurred. Right, Meili? Yes. Okay. Excuse me. So, and also, and um, we will also ask everyone to, to pray, whatever. What is your religion or faith for the return of HNI? Okay? So, it's now time for us to wrap up. And uh, don't forget, guys, Billy, tomorrow is Sunday. Because H&I puts God first, we need to know that Sunday is a day of rest and faith. Day of rest and faith. For the Catholics, Sunday is a holy day of obligation. And for, we have to attend religious services regardless of our faith on a Sunday. Like for the Catholics, Catholic online mass. For the other religions, we have worship services in order yes. to be holy and sacred. And that's why our silence will be appreciated. Really? Why? Is that correct, Billy? Yes, yes, that's right. Okay. Sorry, that's a wrong one. And that... Uh, that was the time for our premiere episode of Magpata Magpa Yotayo Kay Inclusion for Saturday, September 5, 2020. On behalf of all of us at the Kay Inclusion Channel, Inclu Radio, and HNI, I'm your host, Carlos Kanahashi, and together with and me is... I am Vincent Makose for... I will be back on StreamYard tomorrow. I will be back on StreamYard tomorrow at 4.30 p.m for the One Inclusion Live Weekend Sunday Edition Special Report. Billicent will be back for the Open Arm segment on Tuesday. This Tuesday. And Danmar, or Danmar will be back on Monday for the One Inclusion Live Prime Time. Yes. And thank you very much. God is good. All the time. To God be the glory. Glory. Pagpalain tayo na wang ang Diyos na buong may kapal. And may God bring peace for us. Peace be with thee and and good night. Uh, Have a blessed evening to all. Good night, everyone. We good night, at everybody. We at Hans Inclusion include us and include each other. Together, Billy, H and I. God first. God first. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Billy.